Good evening, Facebook family. Martinez Country Home here. Uh, it's Sunday night, uh, July the on July. Wow, I'm way off. Uh, August, I guess uh, August the eighth, maybe. Yeah, August eighth. So, guys, I uh, I just wanted to um, talk about a couple of things. Uh, I just finished watching uh, a video from uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Guns Coast to Coast, I believe. Man, this guy really, he's quickly become one of my favorite channels. Uh, he's, I won't call him like a doom and gloomer. I, I wouldn't say that, but he just, the, he does put things uh, matter of factly and, you know, it's pretty realistic. Um, so, he put out a video uh, today and it was kind of talking about what, what's been on, on, on my mind and, and I'm sure a lot of people's minds and that's if uh, what's going to happen if they mandate the the you know the the hokey pokey you know like the way he says it um, to the, 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 the supposed cure to the health crisis so um, so he was basically talking about what 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 he calls the grip okay uh he's talking about how uh what's gonna happen is um sorry let's see here what's gonna happen guys if if uh there were the the powers that be like the government um mandates the uh, the vaccine like nationwide and they basically take it out of the hands of the, the corporations and the businesses and things like that um, you know what, what's going to happen then and basically that that's we are on track for that to happen so it it, it got me to thinking uh, and I'm not I'm not sure if I to ever told you all this, but when the when the health crisis first started in March of 2020, or that where the um, where they were making uh, like the lockdowns came into effect, um, I believe it was I believe it was the week after spring break when it was gonna end that they canceled school, um, and they were gonna. At that time, we, we didn't know how long the kids were going to be out of school. Only that they were not going to be going back to school. And what it was looking like was that they were going to start lockdowns with only essential personnel. Right? But at that time, we the we things were not clear yet. Um, we weren't sure what was coming on, what was going on. Um, there was a lot of speculation. But basically, it 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 was like an SHTF situation, like we were in the middle of a SHTF situation. So I remember there was a weekend that I was out here, on, and I remember like it was yesterday. It was on a Saturday. Um, no, actually, it was a Friday because that that was I had taken spring break off with my kids, to be with my kids and stuff like that. And it was during the day and I was out, out there in the back of my, in the, the back of my property. And I was like really thinking hard. Um, I was really pondering about things, about what was gonna happen if, you know, what was I gonna do if, you know, we couldn't go back to work and they shut everything down. You know, because at the time it, it it there was a lot a lot of speculation, like I said, uh were they gonna lock us down? Uh were we were we going to go into uh you know, was it were they considering this like some kind of like major outbreak? You know, that that was the that was what was being reported and so whether I believed it or not or whether I believed it, it was uh you know misleading or some kind of false flag or or whatever it was irrelevant because they were gonna do what they were gonna do and that was gonna have a direct effect on my life and my family's life so I remember that day for like about a good couple hours I think I was out there just walking around and just trying to 
play in my mind what what I was gonna do. What was I gonna, you know, what what could I do? Uh, and it was a. I remember that day in particular was a very bad bad time. Uh, just you know, thinking about the 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 you know if if they locked down, if they if we couldn't go back to work. Um, you know, the, the work might stop, but the bills were going to keep coming in. You know, there was a lot of unanswered questions. And so that's been about a year and a half, I guess. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry. Uh, it's kind of late out here. I'm not too late, but, um, you know, in the back of my mind, guys, ever since that day, um, we've had ebbs and flows of, 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 uh, you know, mandates, uh, you know, coming and going, uh, the masks were, were, were mandated and then they weren't, you know, the, the ban was lifted, uh, masks were, was lifted, businesses reopened, things like that. But it's always been, it's never really gone away. And, and when I was watching this video, it, it, you know, what, what we're, what we're going through right now, that's what it feels like. It, I'm starting to, it's kind of feeling like we're going, we're moving to some inevitable uh, end game or, you know, what I can see, uh, they've been talking about a lot of, uh, there might be a, some kind of a collapse or there's going to be a lot of people dying, you know, either through, through starvation or, you know, you know, it, what, what you would call uh you know a collapse a civilizational collapse or some kind of uh you know calamity and to me this really qualifies as a calamity um if they mandate uh the hokey pokey uh there's gonna be a lot of people that are that we're not gonna take it um there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna protest against it um I'm wondering what is that gonna look like and I Ever since the lockdowns happened, when I was, you know, luckily I was, I'm in a, in the profession where we had to go to work. We, it didn't affect us. We could still go to work. We were deemed essential personnel or whatever. And uh, so I went to work. I've out, I never stopped working. Um, but, you know, I remember the streets. It was almost surreal going to work or driving at night. Just a second. Oh, um, I remember driving the streets of San Antonio and, and, uh, you know, it looked like a ghost town. It was very surreal on the weekends. It was, it was a ghost town. And, uh, and I remember thinking, you know what, never again will I say that there's no way something can happen or like, uh, some, some SHTF situation it can't happen here because that taught me that um, the powers that be can shut down anything. They can pretty much do anything they want. And uh, so if they were to mandate vaccines or they are lock it down or you, you can't do this or that, um, they can do it. They, they can at least say you cannot do something. And so I don't, nothing is off the table for me, like I've said before. So, um, all I can say is that in that year and a half, or not close to a year and a half, since that March of 2020, uh, since that since that time period, I've I've been preparing as best I can for what's coming. Um, the the governments, the the people that run this world, the the entities that run this world, whatever, um, they've made it very difficult to be able to survive outside. Their commercial system, uh, you know what they call civilization. Um, they've made it very difficult. Um, so, you know, it's something that, like this video that I'm talking about, and I will leave the link in the description, guys. Um, it's called the grip, and it's a, that's a pretty good term for it. The grip. Um, you know, your survival is based on the the system that they've built. Um, that they, I guess. The, the system that they um, created, right? 
the commercial system we live in. And so, uh, it's been in the back of my mind, but this video, <laughs> this video really kind of like brought it, kind of forced it out uh, into, you know, I don't know, manifested, I guess, but because I've been thinking like that, you know, what's, I've been thinking ahead, but it's, it's a thought in the back of my mind. Um, what is it going to happen? And really, um, honestly, there's not much we can do. Uh, there are some things that we can try to soften the blow, uh, try to make it in case something like that happens, but you really can't totally prepare for it. There's no way really to be, make yourself immune to it uh, unless you go along with the program. And for many of us, that's not an option. Um, not when we know what we know. Or So anyway, um, I just wanted to share that with y'all, um, my thoughts and you know, They've done a good job of set, making everybody, you know, against each other. They've basi basically separated us into two different camps, you know. And uh, it's the, you know, that's why I've always said democracy, it's it's a mob rule. Um, you know, you you basically get caught up in the in the wave in the rush uh, they they suck you down into whatever uh psychosis they're in uh, you're going down with them so you know right now guys we're in what august y'all just keep on preparing uh because i don't see a lot of i i i see the things that were that i was thinking about that year and a half ago uh, things die down a little bit, but they've they they've never really gone away, and they're starting to be talked about again, like a lot. And uh, so, uh, it's coming. Um, these things look like they're coming. Um, so we're gonna have to deal with them one way or the other. And burying our head in the sand is not gonna fix anything. It it, it we're gonna have to deal with it one way or the other. So, I think it's good to to acknowledge that it's very possible things can get ugly and, and how are we gonna deal with that situation? Uh, better to, to, to have it in our minds and, and be, you know, try to have some kind of, some kind of, uh, some kind of plan, some kind of, uh, you know, we have to be prepared for it in, in the best way we can because we can't just like not just, you know, oh well, you know, when it comes, it comes, you know, we'll worry about it then. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, I think we have to prepare ourselves as best we can. And, you know, like I said, it's not like, it's not like this is something new to me uh, that this thought just came about, but uh, it just reminded me when I watched this video, uh, guys, what I was talking about, uh, the one that I was talking about, I remember when the health crisis first kicked off and uh, I guess I was just too early. I was, I, my worries were a year too early. You know, I was, what I was thinking, what's happening now, guys, what I see coming is what I was thinking about back then. Um, like I said, I was just too early. I, I, I thought that these things that, that are coming right now, that what it looks like, that's what I was expecting back then. Um, so, and people just showed me that pretty much People will do anything that, they'll do what they're told. Um, you know, it's just, it's just a sad fact. Uh, they'll, they'll do it just to get along, you know, just to, uh, they don't wanna make waves. Um, but I've also realized that there's a lot more people uh, that are um, competent. They, they, they know how to think for themselves, intelligent people. There's a lot more of us, it's just that we don't get the publicity. Uh, where where the the media doesn't give us the the publicity. It doesn't. It's not gonna give us airtime. Um, it's gonna censor people. Uh, it's gonna censor the truth. And it 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 wants people divided. Uh, it wants confusion. It wants chaos. 
Um, I mean, the way I see it <clears throat> right now, guys, the world is in turmoil. Uh, there's so much, and don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not just doom and gloom. I see the beautiful things in life, my family, uh, the good things that people do when neighbors help each other, uh, when people help each other, things like that. You know, there's, there's goodness still. There's, there's good people out there, but, uh, but, uh. I just, you know, the fact of the matter is that these things are coming uh, unless people just stand up and just resist, you know, but I don't see people doing that. Uh, I just see too many people just going along with things and, uh, you know, um, so anyway, it, it, I just wanted to, uh, in case y'all are, a lot of y'all are not uh you don't know you know i don't know i think it's just uh we have to face uh that things can get ugly things might get ugly but um we have to prepare for them guys uh we can't just ignore it or um we can ignore these things can't ignore these things uh, we have to hopefully prepare prepare for the worst and hope for the best and hope that people will will see reason uh, that people enough people will stand up and uh, make an outcry but uh, anyway guys uh, this is not by no means am I trying to <clears throat> um, be a, a doom and gloom video it's not that's not what I'm trying to do it's just I wanted to share um, what went through my mind back then and how it was, I was worrying about it too early, you know, um, but that year, it was like, it, it gave us a year to, to prepare, guys, I uh, hope y'all been using that time wisely, uh, and that there's a lot more of us than, than what you think, you know, you're not alone, uh, you're not alone, there's a lot of us out here, and, uh, <clears throat> and this community is what's gonna keep us going, um, prayer, um, if y'all are, have any kind of spirituality or you know you're get get good with your creator for me it's, it's god and my lord my lord and savior jesus christ um you know just just keep on preparing guys and you know prepare yourself mentally that that's my thing you don't want to get caught by surprise or you know like i've said you know this is throughout you know as as a human being you you're you're you have to you have to survive and um you know just like you 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 look out for danger and you avoid it um you avoid danger uh you you avoid things that might harm you or take your life same thing here you know you got to prepare for that uh so even if you think that it's hopeless or you think that you know what good is there that's not that's not an option guys y'all gotta you know everybody's got to prepare in some way uh, there's strength in numbers guys so you know pray pray for your neighbor pray for yourselves and your family and uh you know start you know building ties with your community because that community guys is gonna be everything uh so <clears throat> um you know, just, uh, you know, keep preparing guys and, and, uh, get ready for the grip. Um, it's a harsh reality. It's a harsh reality guys. Um, but you know, just because, you know, you, you can't avoid it by, it's not gonna, you're not gonna escape it just if you ignore it. So anyway, just prepare guys. Don't stop preparing. Always, every day, do something that's gonna, you know, help you ride out the storm uh, because it's coming. So, y'all take care of each other and love each other out there, guys, because that's what we're here for. God bless.